water, wine, and what to wear, Marla Ailgrim offers advice on these topics and more. So, you've just turned 45 and feel like you're 25? Marla Ailgrim says that could change in a flash. A hot flash, that is. Women in their 40s, and some in their late 30s, begin to experience what doctors call perimenopause, which is the time around menopause. Marla Ailgrim notes that this can be an exciting stage of life if a woman is tired of taking birth control medications but can also cause minor discomforts, such as vaginal dryness and mood swings. One of the most talked about symptoms that occur at perimenopause and menopause is the often joked about hot flash, cites Marla Ailgrim. Here are her thoughts on hot flashes and ways to hinder their hellish heat. The Spice of Life Marla Ailgrim advises that spicy foods, such as habanero and jalapeno peppers, should be consumed with caution during this time. Any food or beverage that can raise your body's core temperature even slightly could be a flash trigger, explains Marla Ailgrim. Consequently, that glass of wine before bed or the ritualistic cup of coffee in the morning might be igniting your inner inferno. Marla Ailgrim reports that you can still eat and drink the foods you love but keep track when your flashes hit and decrease your consumption of what sparks them. H2 Oh my gosh I'm hot. Water, water, water. Marla Ailgrim insists that now, more than ever, you need to stay hydrated. Water, in addition to being a clean and perfectly balanced fuel for everything inside of you, also acts as a temporary liquid at cold water works to quell hot flashes by countering the heat, says Marla Ailgrim. Plus, water is just plain good for you. You should drink at least eight glasses per day to help the body stay in balance, advises Marla Ailgrim. Slip off your stockings. You might want to think about wearing sandals during the summer months, says Marla Ailgrim. Hot flashes are exacerbated by heat and trapped heat is the worse. In the winter, it's not a bad idea to invest in a pair of easy on easy off boots as feet can sweat which might trigger a hot flash, warns Marla Ailgrim. Lay your clothes, suggests Marla Ailgrim. This will offer you the opportunity to feel immediately cooler and more comfortable plus, the layered look is in, especially in the wintertime, but also in summer when tanks can be worn under tees for a fresh and modern style. Marla Ailgrim says that cotton material is always a good choice. Exercise your rights. You are free to do what you want while in perimenopause menopause but Marla Ailgrim says you should freely exercise your right to keep fit. A good workout can raise endorphin levels. Endorphins are kind of like a painkiller, says Ailgrim, only naturally occurring. They are released by the body when it thinks it needs to relax like after physical activity. Marla Ailgrim says a regular workout regime may help to reduce your frequency of hot flashes and, as Marla Ailgrim explains, you may need to extra movement as you get older anyway. It's just never a bad idea to stay physically active, she insists. Outside aggravations Yes. Your internal operating system is what's off balance but outside factors can help, or hurt, your goal of turning down the heat. Marla Ailgrim says that actually turning down the heat can calm hot flashes. Keep your thermostat a few degrees cooler than usual, advises Marla Ailgrim and, you can invest a few dollars in a portable sports fan to cool you in times when you have no control over your environment. Stick it to stress. You've heard the phrase don't sweat the small stuff, 
and it should be your mantra when you're prone to hot flashes, says Marla Ailgrim. Stress can easily elicit an unwelcome response from a body already in turmoil with itself, Marla Ailgrim points out. When you are stressed or angry, you tend to feel hotter and, when you're balancing your days on the change of life tightrope, you don't want to lose your cool.